All right, back with question four from the SL Maths May 2015 paper one, time zone one. The following diagram shows a function of f, we call it a function f, sorry. Find the inverse function when x is negative one. So what do we need to remember about inverse functions here? In a regular function, if we have uh, a particular value, f of a, it gets mapped onto the point b, then the inverse function, f negative one of b, would map back onto the point a. Basically, your coordinate a, b, in an inverse function becomes b a. Now I could have done that with x ones, y ones, whatever you like. That's the way it works. So when they're saying find the inverse function when the variable is negative one, that means that it must start out as the y coordinate. So what we really want in the original function is f of x. That gives me what's the x value that's going to correspond to a y value of negative one. Therefore, when I do the reverse and I find the inverse function of, sorry, not of x, of negative one, I get whatever's going there. It's pretty easy to see then that the x coordinate that maps onto negative one is five. So for your working, you might want to put something like that and have there's the point five negative one so you can write some of the lines of since f contains five negative one something along these lines this one if you get it right they're going to give it to you anyway but let's just make sure we put some work in there just so that you got it right in your head since the y coordinate in f is negative one that implies when i do the inverse function of negative one that's going to map on to the point five so there it is they get swapped around when you find the inverse so you just swap them back now find f of f of one so this is really find f of f of one well what is oh sorry negative one f of negative one Oh, I didn't leave myself enough room for that. I'm going to have to just go back and draw that more nicely. You can bear with me. We've got plenty of time. We've already established on the last three that we're really well ahead of the mark a minute recommendation. If you've been working through these at a similar pace, and I've been going pretty slowly and chatting a lot, so hopefully you're going even faster. F of F of negative 1. Well, F of negative 1 is 2, so that's the same as F of 2. What is f of 2? It maps onto a y coordinate of 1. So we've got f of f of negative 1 equaling 2. No, equaling 1. I should really learn to read before I speak. I was looking at that 2. It's that one that we wanted. Double check it. f of f of negative 1. It's negative 1 maps onto 2. 2 maps onto 1, you know you've got to write. On the same diagram, sketch the graph of y equals f of negative x. What is negative in front of the x2? It swaps my x coordinates over, doesn't it? It reflects in the y axis. Now, you want to go and make sure you get this right the way I suggest you do it. And this is a bit tricky on this thing, but I'm going to give it a go. You want to make sure that you go through the same points. So, see, I'm just mapping the mirror image across. So, I've got a few dots lined up ready for me to go through them and make sure that intercept is just a bit short of four. You want to try and match these up pretty closely. They don't need to be exact, but you want to have the general shape correct. So there where we had the 0.5, negative one. It's now negative five, negative one. That looks good. And we're finishing at roughly six and negative two. You want to join those together. Well, you can see here, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. I'm trying to do this on the screen. Even that would be close enough. You'd be able to do it better if you can actually see where you're writing with your pen. I don't have anything to go on here. 
but that's good enough. Um, there you go, three, four, five, six, seven marks. Still took us only five minutes, and that was with a lot of chit chat in that one and going back and erasing mistakes. So, still ahead of schedule. Hope you're going well with these. We'll see you in question five. Cheers.